What's up guys, Game and welcome back to Pro Summer 2022 for a tutorial on the channel. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've last done one, but with the release of Season 3 of the Savalo career mode, which is now Garmin Savalo, uh, I figured I would do a tutorial uh, that I've been asked for a while uh, on how to add new sponsors and mostly new teams in the game. Now there's quite a few ways, uh, I'll sh show the one I use the most. Um, for that we're going to take Zwift uh, as an example because I'm pretty sure it's the only team I've really added from the start. Um, so yeah, let me, uh, let me show you how it's done. Now, um, to clarify things, I'm using the World GB. Um, I'm gonna guess most of you probably do, uh, but maybe some of you use the Barna DB or something else. Um, I think it doesn't matter which one you use. Um, it only matter for, some, for certain sponsors or certain naming. For our case, as I said, I'm using the world gb um so what you just want to do first of all you want to find the sponsor you want to use maybe it's already in the game uh we'll take a look quickly to show how how we can see them if not i'll show you the other way uh but first you're going to go to this address which you can see right now on top um it's program files teams team apps workshop content uh then pcms 2022 starts with 1767 and then you're going to have a lot of numbers here. You need to find the one that's accurate to the world GB. I never really know what to do. I know there's like some kind of code through Steam. I just know it's this one because well, it's the one that's bigger. So yeah, once you're in there, what you want to do, go to Jersey, then team. You don't have team old, but that's something I did because uh, I have a backup of all my jerseys, whether I want to like switch from career mode to play through so that I don't have different jerseys. I kind of got that mixed up with movie star. Once you're in teams, you've got all of the teams uh, and their kits. The uh, three letter here are the abbreviation. We're going to see them in the uh, database itself. And everything with X before means that it's a sponsor added by the database makers. For the World GB, it's X. I believe there's a DB with Z instead. Uh, before our case, as I said, we're going to use X. But you can use whatever letter you want if you're adding the sponsor. This is just for the GB, right? So they understand which file they need to look for. As I said, I'm gonna use Zwift. So I've added myself the Zwift folder, uh, which is right here. There's not much inside. Uh, there's not many jerseys, different things, but for now, that's what we're gonna work with. Uh, and as I said, this one being uh, something I added and not in the game, I'm gonna show you where I got it and how to add it. Welcome to PCMmod.com, uh, one of my favorite websites regarding PCM in a couple of, uh, couple of months. You have basically everything on there. Databases, jerseys, equipment, like it's genuinely really, really good. And um, nearly daily, you've got some of the PCM creators that make kits and designs uploading their kits and their work on the website. You can search by name. So in our case, uh, we're gonna search for Zwift. But yeah, PCMmod.com, really good site. You can use the Groupetto as well, uh, but this one has more things. As I said, uh, I've gone for Team Zwift. There's quite a few jerseys, we've got Alpes in Zwift, uh, you've got an um, orange version, a white version. I went with the um, dark blue version, but it doesn't prevent you from using those two other kits, maybe as specials for Grand Tours or something else. Actually, I'll show you as well how to make Grand Tour jerseys. Um, but yeah, so let's say you, you find this and you really like what you're seeing. What you want to do, right, you click on the download link, which is going to give you a zip file. In that zip file, you're going to extract it and put the files in your game. Actually, I'm mistaken. Uh, I've kind of forgot to make some jerseys or to put some of the uh, NCs. So I'm going to quickly do that. Um, the initial folder has them at Z, uh, as ZWI for Zwift. Uh, but because in the DB for me, they're X Swift, I'm just going to rename them quickly and I'll uh, move directly to the DB portion of it. Actually, one last thing. Uh, as I said, you can have custom jerseys for the Tour de France, for the Giro, for the Vuelta. Um, for that, very, very simple. Um, you take the abbreviation of your team, and in my case, uh, X Zwift underscore Mayo, which means jersey, and then underscore. And if you want the Giro, you're just going to put, well, Giro. If you want Tour, you're going to put Tour. And if you want Vuelta, you're going to put Vuelta. Uh, so I'll have this one for the Tour. So this one is going to be X Zwift Mayo Tour. And um, it's not going to be taken as the yellow jersey. For that, that would be Mayo underscore time underscore Tour. So yeah, everything. For the folder, you've done your work, right? You've done everything, you've got your jersey, and now you just want to create the team. So let's go. For that, you need to access your saves. Uh, and I do not mean the original DB file, not the official release, that one, you don't really want to modify it unless you want to make changes forever, right? You want to just modify your save. 
Uh, ideally, what I recommend is to take one of like your save, the one you like the most. Uh, you duplicate it so that if you make a mistake, your main save isn't fucked. And yeah, if you have the fast editor, it works. If you have the, I think it's called PCM editor by Davy, it works as well. All right, welcome to the PCM DB edit. Uh, if this is the first time like seeing this, don't worry, it's not it's not complicated at all. Like it's very intuitive. Um, so you've got your DY and cyclist. All of your columns on the left are um, the categories or like the different tabs you can click on. We're now going to take a look at uh, DY and cyclist. Uh, that's if you want to change the stats, popularity, blah blah blah. You don't care about this today. Today you care about two things, two columns to be exact. Sorry, two tabs. You care about DY and sponsor and DY and team. DY and sponsor is key for you if you're adding a new sponsor. Or if you want to change the jersey. You've got one tab here, which is Jersey SZ abbreviation. As you can see, it's always, or it's often three letters. And those are the name of the folders you've seen in the team folder of your database. Where I've added X Zwift. Obviously, this being my save, I've already added Zwift. Uh, but if you want to add a new team, genuinely, it's quite simple. Uh, actually, I'm just realizing I've done that with Ziggo, not Zwift. That's fine. It works the same. Um, but you just want to click on Add, which is on the bottom right of uh, the screen. I'll just make this. So you're going to see a black bar at the, uh, at the bottom for a bit. But you would just want to click on Add here. That's going to create a new line. All right. It's going to be in order. So it's going to be 5847. There, you want to enter the name of the sponsor. The name, not the name of the team, the name of the sponsor. In our case, it would have been Zwift. Then, this is where you'd want to put the jersey abbreviation, in our case, X Zwift, as you can see right here. Then, the abbreviation of the sponsor, which is the three letters you want to see on the results page, or like when you finish a stage, there's always the three letters of the abbreviation on the right of your screen. That's what you want to do. Here, you can put the region of the sponsor, and because I haven't made it, this is like the game made. There's none, but like, for example, Zigua put Groenang, I don't know where it's from, I just put it from the Netherlands. And then the um, fame of the sponsor, the year of the contract, should there be an end of the contract. So you can see like Savannah Test Tube ends in 2025, uh, Tudor ends in 2025 because they're active teams. I haven't put one for Vacancela in Nike, Qantas and Zigo, maybe I'll have to do one. Uh, then the budget, you put a fork, minimum and a maximum. And the year until they will sponsor. After that year, there's no way they're going to sponsor anymore. Finally, if you really want to care, uh, you can put the color of the sponsor. Um, you can find the uh, the hexadecimal code on PCM mod uh, just above the download link. There's always like the color code so that you can have the, the, the equipment, if it's not custom, linked to uh, the colors of the sponsor. Once you've done this line, you're going to move to DYN team. DYN team is, I'm telling you, the simplest of things, right? Nothing much has to be done, or nothing a lot has to be done. You've got Zwift here. Again, you can create it by, use, by clicking on Add, and it's going to create a row at the bottom for you, so that you can just do whatever you want. If you're creating a team, um, you're going to need to put first a short name, which is, well, the short name of the team, right? In our case, Zwift. Then the complete name, the long one, so Zwift Cycling. Then FK, uh, FKID Sponsor. This is where you're going to have a uh, tab with every single sponsor in the game. And you need to find the one you want to put. In our case, Zwift. Bear in mind, if you've just created your sponsor in DYN Sponsor, you're going to need to save the, sa or save the file, right? Just click Save Database, top right, or top left, sorry. Close the editor and relaunch that save so that it takes the changes in mind. Once you've done that, you just either type the first few letters of your sponsor or you go at the very end and you're going to see your sponsor in last. I've, I've got null because I've created one which has nothing, but Zwift is there. Once you've done that, uh, then you just put whether it's a world tour team or it's a team that has an actual sponsor. You can put one. I don't really know why. Uh, I've, I've personally never really cared about any of this. I've put zero for Garmin Savelo. It doesn't really matter. Then the country of your team, and in this case, Zwift up in the Netherlands. I, I mean, I'm pretty sure it's American, that's to be fair, but fuck it. We'll put Netherlands because it's the, it's the only Omovismo. 
You don't care about the suffix or the, the mail address, you don't care about the manager unless you do want to care, in our case I put Joe Tims for Timo Boranke. Then you got the division, GS1, GS2, GS3 and others, uh, GS1 is World Tour, GS2 is Conti Pro, GS3 is Continental. Uh, that's, that's, yeah, that's what you want to, what you want to do, it's up to you. Uh, then, those you don't care about next division and previous division, not like, you don't give a shit. Uh, and after that, I'm pretty much convinced that you don't care about any of this. Indeed, you do not. Once you've done that, uh, well, you've, you'll have a new team in your safe. So, if you've created the team, it's, there's an important thing to know. If you've just created the team, either you're going to manually put some of the riders in that team on the way inside list, or You've taken, over a new t you've taken over a team and just renamed the sponsor. Um, if you want to start a new career mode, right, and you've obviously added that team, you can't do that on a, on a save file because there's no save. You have to do that on the official release. This is solely if you want to add a team to, to, to an existing save. If you want to create a new team from the get-go, in that case, take the official release, make a copy of that save or of the file, and then add the sponsor the same way I've just shown it to you. Once you've done all of this, well, uh, you, you save the file and you launch PCM, you launch your save and it should be in there. That's, that's it. That's literally it. Um, you'll have your jersey, you'll have the riders if you've added them manually or taken over a new team, uh, you'll have a budget, you'll have a contract ending. I'm trying to think of if there's anything I've missed, but I'm pretty sure we should be good. Actually, no, there is. There is one thing. There is one thing. That one thing is a mini jersey uh, or mini mayo. Someone asked me on Instagram how to, to make one. Um, I can't make one, but I mean, actually I can, but that's another story. Either way, uh, you want to go back to the file where, uh, or like the, the world GB file or the Barna DB or anything, just the folder of your, of your database. Then you go to mini jersey, team. You'll have every single mini jersey of the game. Bear in mind, those are DDS files. If you find one on the internet, if you find a mini jersey on the internet, in our case, we'll take X underscore Zwift, which should be uh, there. Um, well, it says DDS. It's going to be a PNG, all right? It's not a DDS file. It's going to be a PNG, so like, just like the Garmin Mini Mayo. Quite simple. You go on the internet, you find a PNG to DDS converter. You download the, the, the new DDS file and you put it, you put it in there. Uh, it needs to have the same name as your abbreviation, so in our case, x underscore Zwift, oh sorry, x dash Zwift underscore Minimayo, and that's it. That's literally it. You can then go back to your game, and in our case, I've taken over Jumbo Visma with Zwift. You'll have Zwift Cycling, you'll have the Minimayo, you're gonna have the jersey in the race, and that's, yeah, that's, that's everything. That's literally everything. Um, I think it's not that difficult. It's taken, it, it, if you're used to it, it can take like six, seven minutes, maybe even less. Um, but I think it's, it's a good thing to know on PCM. It's been the same literally for 10 years. Like it has not changed for 10 years. So it's a skill to know. It takes five seconds to master or well, one tutorial video, I guess. And then you can have a fresher game every year. You're not going to see Etihad being the first new sponsor or BBVA or BMW. You can add the sponsors you want, the teams you want. That's it. If you guys need any help regarding uh, how to well, do this, if the tutorial has helped but you're still stuck on something, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments and I will answer literally everyone that needs help. And yeah, I do hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, it's been a while since I last done a tutorial, so I'm a bit rusty with that. But yeah, as I, said, I, ho I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, then do destroy the like button. Um, if there's any other tutorial I can make, I've made a lot in like the past two years, I made like six, five or six. Uh, they're on PCM 2020 and 2021, but they're still active today. Like, it, the game has not changed. So you can still use them. Uh, and yeah, if there's anything else I can do for you, let me know in the comments. But I'll see you very soon for some more Garmin Cervelo. My name is Guillaume. Have an amazing day. See ya. Pass me the phone.